Hey everyone. Okay, so we're going to move on to igneous rocks. Um, at this point, we are on slide 17, and I also want you guys to pull up the notes that look like this, which is your igneous and metamorphic rocks. And we're going to first talk about igneous. You're just going to be filling this part out um, as I go along. Um, you, you'll write down the answers, the ones that are um, underlined, and then um, how is texture determined? Again, you're just going to write down that answer as you see it on the slide. And then we have like a comparison chart, okay? This is the way I want you guys to read this. So in this chart, you're going to have um, intrusive igneous rocks on the left and extrusive igneous rocks on the right, okay? And um, in the middle, you're going to have like how they're different, okay? So for, for example, I did this one for you. Um, and it says location on Earth. And for intrusive igneous rocks, they are below the ground. And for extrusive, they're going to be at or above the ground. So as I'm going through the presentation, like I'm going to be talking about the material. And you're going to write down is intrusive magma or lava. And like, so you'd write like lava or magma. For the rate of cooling, you would, all you need to write down is just like fast or slow or slow or fast small or big for the crystal grain size and for texture, is it gonna be fine or coarse or coarse and fine, okay? And then right here, I'm gonna give an example of each type, the most common type. So as I'm going through this presentation, all you gotta write down is like either magma or lava. I'm, I tried to make these notes really simple for you. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So for igneous rocks, um, they are classified actually into two different types of igneous rocks. They are either going to be called extrusive or intrusive. Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute. Extrusive means that it's above or outside the ground. Intrusive means that it's below or inside the ground. Okay, so if I was to think about like ways that I could remember this, I would think of extrusive. It kind of sounds like exterior or like the outside of a car or like if you're exiting, you're going out, okay? So you're going outside or it's like above the ground. For intrusive, you literally have the word in. Um, and that means that you're talking about igneous rocks that are formed below the ground. Extrusive rocks are formed above, okay? And then we're gonna talk about um, the texture of it. And the texture, meaning how does it feel or how are the grains laid out? it's going to be determined on whether or not it is cooling fast or if it is cooling slow, okay? Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so what is an igneous rocks? Okay, so igneous rocks, they are formed either from the melting um, and cooling of magma. If it is magma, it is rocks that are formed below the ground, like right at the surface, like right over here, okay? If it's lava, it means that it's above the ground. So like, see how this is coming out of a volcano? That's lava coming out of a, a volcano. And as it goes down, that's all, ooh, that's all lava. Sorry about that. And if it's formed above the ground, then it's called lava, okay? And I don't know if you guys realize this, but igneous rocks are the oldest types of rocks that are formed because Earth was actually created from a big molten, you know, molten rock, right? So it started out as really as um, as lava, okay? Okay, so let's talk about extrusive igneous rocks. That's going to be on your right side of that table, okay? And you're going to write down lava. It's formed at lava. I already told you that if it's extrusive, then it's formed above the ground, and you can see it in this picture right here. Okay, now how does it cool? It's going to cool very quickly, and the reason why is because it's exposed to the wind, and water and outside factors that would allow it to cool really fast. Okay, now if it cools really fast, you call it extrusive, which means that the small crystal grains in the rock, because of fast cooling time, and they have very, very small crystals, okay? So much to the point where you can't even see those crystals unless you're using a microscope. All right, now if it's a small crystals and you call that fine grained, Okay, that is your texture, fine grained. Okay, and the cool thing about igneous rocks is like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen pumice, but it ha it looks like little holes that are inside the rock. The reason why those holes are, are, are exist is because it's cooling so quickly that air gets trapped in it and then it creates these air pockets. So that's one type. Another really famous type is something called obsidian. 
any Minecrafters out there, okay, they always talk about obsidian rocks. Um, they are formed um, above the ground, so they're formed from lava, and they cool really quick, and they've got this really, really cool glass texture. It's really neat. Okay, so let make sure you get that filled in, and we're going to move on to intrusive igneous rocks. Okay, now intrusive igneous rocks, obviously, they're going to be formed in the ground, like, um, and they are formed from magma. Why? Because it's formed from magma that's below the ground. And it, the reason why they cool slowly is because it's not exposed to those factors that are going to cause it to cool really quick, right? So like it does, it's, if it's below ground, like if you're over here, you're not going to be exposed to any wind or um, air blowing or anything like that. So it's going to stay hotter for a long time. Now think about it. If it stays hotter for a long time, then it has more time to grow these crystal grains, right? And so if they grow these crystal grains, then you call it coarse grain, okay? Here's a picture of a geode, right? The geode, if you were to break this rock in half, these are all the crystals that are inside that rock, okay? That, those crystals had a really, really long time to cool down. And because it had a long time to cool down, it formed these beautiful, beautiful crystals. Um, if you were to feel that, would you imagine that to feel smooth or like coarse, coarse and rough? I would imagine that would to, to feel rough, okay? And it's deep within the earth. Okay, so these are the most common type of igneous rocks. You've got obsidian for extrusive, and then for intrusive, you have granite. In this picture, can you guys like even see how you can see these crystals like with your eyes? You don't need a microscope, but do you see any crystals here? I don't think so. I don't think you see any crystals here. Okay. All right, so we're gonna talk about metamorphic rocks now, okay? You just have to scroll down to your notes and you're just gonna fill them in, okay? Metamorph, the word morph means to change. Okay, and they form from when the environment of the rock changes because of something called heat and pressure. And this change is called metamorphism. You can think of it as a meta, uh, means like new, like metamorph. It does not melt, but they bake. I always think of like, um, like cookies. Like if you put cookies into the oven and you bake them, they come out as a different product, right? And so they bake and they change in their crystal structure and appearance from the original. Key things is that they're formed deep below the Earth's surface. And where does that heat come from? It co and where does the pressure come from? It comes from that mantle or the core of the Earth. Okay, so metamorphic rocks are classified by either foliated or non-foliated. Okay, and foliated parallel layers or bands, they split apart among these bands. Non-foliated grains are arranged randomly and they do not split in layers. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys um, a picture of a foliated and non-foliated rock because I did not realize that it was not in there. Okay, so I'm going to insert a foliated rock and I want you guys to see the, oops, I want you guys to see what they actually look like. No, not that. I apologize. Okay, foliated, oh my Lord. Okay, let's look at foliated met metamorphic rocks. And I'm gonna insert that image in for you so that you can see that, what that looks like. Okay, do you guys see those how it looks like they're like these bands. I call them ribbons. You can also call them like a ribbon. It looks like a ribbon kind of going through there. And then I'm also going to insert a non-foliated. Okay, the non-foliated. And you can see here, they really don't have any bands at all. Okay, so foliated and non-foliated. And then non-foliated, you could tell that there's no, like they're just kind of arranged randomly, okay? 
All right. I'm going to go ahead and 